Hi everyone, this is Carolyn, and today we are doing another Bible journaling project with the Illustrated Faith Preparing Hearts Kit. And today we are journaling on the verse, 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and in the NIV it reads, Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. And now you'll see that I'm just going through the background with some distressed oxide. I'm using the blending tool to just blend this color out. This is spun sugar. It's one of my favorite distressed oxide colors. And in a minute, I will bring out some blue. And so this verse is talking about just watching and praying. And this is something that when you're in a hard time, when you're in a battle, it can sometimes feel like the last thing that you want to do is sit and pray. But that actually is one of the most power, the powerful things that you can do is to sit and pray, experience God's presence, ask him to move in your situation because you are talking to the creator of the universe about your situation. And here you'll see I am doing the blue with the distress oxide. And this also is one of my favorite colors to work with. And I'm getting the hang of this blending tool. You can see um, in places where it's not quite blended out, but I'm gonna go back and blend those places out and blend it into the pink and around the edge of the page. And so this verse also talks about being brave, being strong, and we build our strength in the Lord. We build our strength through the word, worship, and prayer. I talked about those weapons in our, my last video, is the word, worship, and prayer. And that is how we strengthen ourselves in the Lord. And now I am going to bring out, this is a rub-on. And through the kit, she wrote out a prayer that she had written. It's also written in the kit. And it's talking about embracing the change, embracing the hard things in life, getting to the beauty of the other side. And this is actually the first time I've ever used a rub-on. And so you'll see me, first I break the stick, as soon as I, <laughs> there it goes, it's broken. And so I'm rubbing it onto the page. But this is going to actually take a while. Uh, some of it rubs on and some of it isn't. So I have to go back over it a few different times. But I love that she wrote out this prayer and put it on a rub on so that we could put it in our journaling Bibles or in our art journals to remind ourselves to pray to remind ourselves that we can pray the word. We can embrace the hard times through prayer, through his presence. We can get through them and not just get through them, but grow closer to the Lord. Seek his presence through worship. Seek encouragement through the word. And when we take that stance of coming to the Lord, coming to the Lord's feet and in prayer, that is when we are strengthened in the Lord. That is where we find the strength to be brave, the strength to be strong. Also, another way of being strong is to meet together with other healthy believers and here you'll see that I am trying to pull this up and checking my work, checking to see if the rub on has gone down, but it hasn't all the way yet. So here I am going harder. And if any of you know, how do you rub this on? Maybe there's a different way that's better than with a broken popsicle stick. So I would love to hear if you have a better way to get this rub on on, because I spent quite a while trying to get it all the way on. And it took several times of pulling it up and checking to see if it was on the page yet. I love how it came out. It took a very long time to get it on though, and a lot of pressure 
um, my hands actually started to hurt because it was such a lot of pressure to get this thing onto the page. So something that I have learned through my own times in prayer is that I don't have to bow to my circumstances. I do not have to be how my circumstances tell me to be in that quiet place, in that presence with the Lord. That is where I find my strength. That is where I find the courage to keep going in the hard times. That is where I find strength and peace and joy in the good times. Just always keeping that stance of being in prayer, of being and seeking God's presence, no matter if things are going well or if they are going hard. And when we've sought his presence in the good times, it's a habit. So in the bad times, we are already there. We are already in his presence. And you'll see that I finally have got this prayer, this rub on prayer onto the page. And I thought it would look good, kind of crooked, but I'm wondering now if it might have looked better straight. But anyhow, it's on there, so I can't change it now. Um, now I'm putting this washi tape on, and this washi tape also has the same prayer on the page. So I wanted to emphasize that this verse is about watching. It's about standing fast, standing firm, and we come in that place of standing firm through being in that place of seeking his presence through prayer. Now I am going through the ephemera in the kit, the rest of it that is left of it, and I'm picking out the ones that I think would go well on this page to emphasize that place of watching, of praying, of standing firm. And you'll see that I pick the hearts because I always love the hearts because that is standing fast in the fact that God loves us. And then I put a little card down there, a card to write my own prayer because this is someone, someone else's written prayer. So I want to write my own prayer in this place. And also, I just want to share with you another scripture. It's Isaiah 35, 4, and this is in the New King James Version. It says, say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear, behold, your God will come with vengeance. With the recompense of God, he will come and save you. And so when we pray, to pray the word, to stand on that word, stand fast in the faith is what 1 Corinthians sixteen thirteen says. And we can do that by reminding ourselves of his word and praying that word. And I'm putting down the telephone booth because we have a direct connection to the Father. I put down the bits and pieces sticker or ephemera because we only know in part. We only can see what we're going through right now, but God sees the whole big picture. I put down the flower as a representative of looking at the beauty that even if we are in such a messy, messy state and things don't look good, God can make things beautiful out of those messes that we have been in. And you'll see that now I am putting down some crosses. At the, those cross stickers came, I think they were an add-on to this kit, but as a representative of that we find our strength we find everything we need at the foot of the cross, at the feet of Jesus. So I'm going to finish putting these cross stickers onto the page. And then you'll see me write out my own prayer on this card. And on this card, I am asking the Lord to give me uh, beauty, joy, and his presence in the things that I am going through right now. Things that have just been hard, very hard things. And I don't always write my prayers, but I find it so healing to write out a prayer along with this written prayer in this devotional kit. 
And then I covered up uh, 1 Corinthians 16, 13. So I'm putting down a tag and I'm writing down some of the things that it says. Be strong, be courageous, stand firm. And then on the side, I will write the verse that it goes with. I'll tape that down. And then that will be the end of my uh, Bible journaling for today. So if you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe for more Bible journaling videos.